First Alert Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Hurricane Harvey is going to be a devastating storm for the Texas coast, even extending inland for a couple of hundred miles, and that's because rain is the biggest threat. And along the coast, storm surge is also a great concern. Wind is also above 100 miles per hour, so that is a third concern from this storm. This is the high resolution satellite imagery. The eye there about 80 or 90 miles southeast of Corpus Christi is going to come inland just north of Corpus Christi later today or early tomorrow morning as a category three storm. At least that's the projection. It may be a strong category two, weak category three. Doesn't matter. The water problem already exists. The waves are over 20 feet and all of this water is going to come inland. Storm surge of about a foot and rainfall on the order of 12 to 24 inches. That sounds like a snowfall forecast, but this rainfall problem for Texas will last well into next week. A really big rain event down there, and that's going to cause major flooding. For us, there's a good amount of clouds in the sky, but it's a mainly dry Friday to close the work week with a temperature of 67. Still a below average day, though as we go forward, we gradually warm up. So if you think this is a little bit too cool for late August, things will change as we go forward. We don't have any showers on radar yet, but that might change with one or two popping up over the Northeast Kingdom or Adirondacks later this afternoon. It's 59 in Saranac Lake, 62 in Montpelier, and 63 degrees in St. Jay right now. Futurecast shows the clouds blending with sunshine, certainly a more of a cloudy sky over the higher terrain this afternoon, but it's a mainly dry day. In the Champlain Valley, lower 70s for a high temperature, so it turns out to be a decent day. Upper 60s in St. Johnsbury, lower 60s for the high in Saranac Lake. Now tomorrow is a couple of degrees warmer. It's also a brighter day. We'll call it mostly sunny on Saturday with just a few clouds. And Sunday is also a mainly sunny day and it's even warmer. So by Sunday, it's middle 70s that we're talking about. And eventually, as we head into the middle part of next week, we get into the upper 70s to near 80. But the one thing that stays consistent is the dry forecast. A lot of sun Monday, Tuesday, a few more clouds, but it's still dry both Tuesday and Wednesday. We will be up near 80 degrees and then a few showers on Thursday. So we have basically six solid days here without widespread rain and overnight temperatures are in the 50s. So it's great sleeping weather and that looks to continue for the foreseeable future. That's my latest first alert forecast. Vanessa, back to you.